Let's convert the decimal 0.96 to a fraction. And the way we'll do that, we'll start out by putting it over one like this. It's still equal to 0.96, we're just dividing by one, but now we have the start of a fraction. What we need to do is get this number here, 0.96 to be a whole number. And I can see we have one, two decimal places. So when we have two decimal places, we can multiply by 100. That'll give us a whole number. So 100 times 0.96, that equals 96. And that's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 over 100, that equals 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's written. So 100 times 1, that equals 100. And now we have a fraction. But we can simplify this further since these are both even. Let's give ourselves some room. So if we divide 96 by 2, we get 48. And if we divide 100 by 2, we get 50. So we've simplified this down to 48 fiftieths. But it's still even, so we can do it again. 48 divided by 2 is 24, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. And we can't simplify this any further. So when we write the decimal 0.96 as a fraction, in simplest form, it's 24 over 25. And all of these are equal. If you divide 24 by 25, 48 by 50, or 96 by 100, you get 0.96. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.